I was just working with React and I was trying to export multiple components from one index.js file in the components folder. I did this many times, but still I forgot the syntax. So let's Google it. React export multiple components from index.js, just like that. The first thing that you can notice is that I was visiting this page before, it is purple. So I've definitely been here, but let's go there one more time. If I scroll, I see the solution and this is the solution I'm familiar with, but for some reason I couldn't remember the syntax of doing this. And now I copy the code, I go back to my Visual Studio code, paste it and everything works. But what happens? The next time I need this obscure piece of code, I have to Google it again and then go take a look at this page again. I will forget it in the meantime. These are the things that slow us as developers and get in the way of our fluency and thinking. Not to mention, if it's a job interview, it's not gonna look good. So let's use memdev. As you can see, on Stack Overflow, every code snippet has a memdev logo next to it. That's because I can make it into an interactive snippet and save it on my own personal knowledge base. Let's hover over this and add it to our knowledge base. We click it and then in here you can see the create a snippet page. Keep in mind, this is just one click immediately in the stack overflow. It took the first line for us. I can even add some spaces in there. And I just learned how to, I'll say, export multiple components from index. So I just learned how to export multiple components from index in React. Amazing, we even have the link down there. Now I can click create. Once you create a snippet, it is just that, a snippet. What memdev really does is it lets me practice on interactive flashcards. Let's go and convert this snippet into something interactive. So we click right there. And now it brings us right here, one snippet pending. Turn snippets into interactive flashcards. Now we can select what we'd like to remember. For example, I'm gonna select this whole part before the name because the name can be different. And also I'm gonna do the whole thing. So maybe it's gonna ask me the whole thing and I should be able to recall the whole thing. So if I do that, now this is card about React and I just learned how to export multiple components. I click save and now this time I got a task that is asking me to turn in the whole thing. Oh, that's gonna be tough. So that's gonna be export default as I think it was comp comp1.jsx from, and we have to close it here, from dot slash comp1.jsx. And in here, we need to just put the comp1. So let's see if this is correct. I click submit, and we can see that there was a small difference. I didn't need to put quotation marks around here, but everything else seems to be fine. So I'll say, this is good. And that's it for this training session. Tomorrow, I'll train again. It's going to ask me the same question again, but then it won't show it for a week. In a week, it's going to show it again, and then it's going to ask me again in a month. It'll space them out. And the more such cards I make, the more fluent I become, and the more this knowledge moves from Stack Overflow into my head as a developer, making me that much more fluent and more confident.